y'all, this is Sarah from MomAndDevers.com and today I wanted to show you the cool step two flip and doodle easel desk with a stool. Um, and this thing is great, the boys have been loving it. Um, it's a really fun alternative, I think, to just the traditional, you know, kind of just stand up easel that just has the little tray for the chalk or the paints or the markers or whatever you're using. Um, because this thing right here actually serves a bunch of purposes. So it's storage, it's a desk, it's an easel um, all in one. So um, that's a really cool feature if you're looking for some versatility. Um, so let's get a little bit closer. Um, first up on top, you can see that there is a big, um, this is what the easel is, but it's really like a big whiteboard. Um, there is a clip up here. So you can actually use it um, for painting or drawing if you wanted to um, put like a big piece of paper up there, then the kiddos could paint, uh, draw on it, anything like that. Um, so you can see I've got some uh, dry erase markers there so the boys can use it as a true um, Dry, dry erase whiteboard. Um, but there's also some great storage underneath. Um, so we actually have six bins. You can see on the top, um, they're smaller bins and you can actually fit too deep um, or you could move those bins around. You wouldn't have to fit too deep. There's just kind of like two extras. So we've got some crayons here, um, some kid scissors. Um, in the bigger bins, there's a lot of room. Um, I just have painting smocks stuffed in there right now. Um, so you really could store all their art supplies down there. I mean, there's plenty of room to keep, you know, glue, paint, markers, um, fun little crafty stuff. But I think um, what you put in there would maybe de depend on the kid or where you're storing this. So for right now, I've chosen not to keep like the glue and paints and stuff like that because I think it could turn into a disaster. But if you're keeping this maybe in a room where the kids don't have access to all the time, then I think that could totally work. Um, as you can see, these bins do completely slide out uh, really easily. So, you know, you could stack them up there. Um, you could take the bins out and use the bins someplace else if you want to keep, you know, those sort of messy items in. Um, so, that's kind of, that's one look for the desk, but right right now it doesn't really look like a desk. And the way you make that happen is you just flip down the easel portion. So it's really handy, really easy. Um, the desk is pretty sturdy, so I'm pushing on it um, pretty hard right now and it's not tipping over. Um, it's not bending or bowing. So uh, Big Brother actually loves it if I let him do his homework on the desk. So, um, so you can see that's handy. And then in the back, there's more storage compartments where you can keep stuff that you want to use. So um, we've got some markers in there, some colored pencils. Um, I left this side open just so you could see um, your options there. So it's a tray and then spots for markers and things. Another open tray. So you really have a lot of versatility with this. There's a lot of ways you can use it, a lot of things you can store. And they even um, made it functional in the back too. So if you can see back here, there's an open compartment um, where you can keep like coloring books, colored pencils. You could keep other paper back here. Um, so there really is a lot to this little step two desk. Um, you know, whether you want to use it as an easel, a desk, um, art supply storage, all of the above. Um, I think it's really great um, for little kids, obviously, who are into, you know, drawing, coloring, art, all of those things. Uh, I think it'd also be great for homeschoolers, especially with little ones. So preschoolers or the early elementary grades, this would be a really nice addition um, for homeschooling. So, um, so anyway, that is the step two flip and doodle easel desk with stool. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.